<laughs> and then I'll pop, pop something up there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's what is that? Magic. Magic. Okay. Yeah. Um, there we go. Is that better? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Can we see? Okay. There we are right there. We're a little yeah, bit too low here. Okay now. And see. Okay. Castle. Can you see us? Yeah. We're right there. Yeah, I can see you. Okay. Okay, good. Hi, honey. Hello. What 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 are you showing us right now, Keith? Whoops, I just I just minimized the. Is this like the? Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Cindy's like yeah. ready for night night. The, that's um. That's got the um. What is that? So the rides. What kind of rides are? And these are your Disney World rides. And then okay. I'm keep... Oh, you're breaking up, babe. Hi. I am. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you, Keith? No, oh, that's what's in. That's Keith right there. <laughs> yeah. So, you like um, so behind me? I love that. Looks like a big moon. I think that's Earth. That is no. I'm sorry. That is Earth. Yes, you are on Earth, Keith. That's good. That don't look like yeah. Earth. Earth behind him. Earth is moving with you, Keith. <laughs> Yeah. So tell um, us something new. Well, um, I was looking at some um, quotes for um, Art of Animation um, Stay at Disney World. And uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the top, it, it mentioned um, that they were giving me the quotes for, um, for those that are a Disney Plus subscriber. Oh, okay. So what's what all does art of animation have available for, to for us? Well, um, there's car suite. Car suite, okay. Yeah, there's there's um, three beds. Um, one one queen size bed is in a room in its own bedroom, which ha has a um, which has a full size bath. Okay. And, um, and then the other two queen size bed. One's a regular one, and the other one um, folds out from a um, sofa. Oh, that's cool. And so Art of Animation, is that pretty close to Disney World to get there? Yeah, it's, it's, right, it's right next to Pop Century. Oh, so we can take the Skyliner to get to the Disney World, to get to Magic Kingdom and everywhere, right? Not to Magic Kingdom, but we can take it to Epcot and um, Hollywood Studios. Okay. To get to Magic Kingdom, we would have to take the bus. Oh, okay. How would you get discounts for that? As far as like... Uh, discounts for like a hotel stay and to go to Disney World as in general. Well, um, they they see that that I'm reg that I'm a subscriber with Disney Plus. So um, if we put the res reservation under my name, um, they'll give us the discount. Oh, okay. So every time you listen, put it underneath. So get discount. <laughs> So Cindy says, put everybody or Cindy says to have everybody put it under your discount, your name, and you get a discount. But no, what you need to do is you need to subscribe to Disney Plus. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. You have, to, you have to either be a, a Disney Plus subscriber or um, or a D, DVC um, uh, member. DVC is Disney Vacation Club member. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, Keith? The DVC is um is kind of like a um
Now I can't think of um, Alexa. What what type of um, business is DBC? From DeutscheBC.com. The Deutsche Business Consulting GM. That's not it. DBC. Alexa, stop. Alexa, <laughs> what, what type of business is this? We were just talking about her earlier today. <laughs> From NerdWallet.com. The Disney Vacation Club, DVC, is a type of timeshare program run. Timeshare. It's a timeshare. Okay. Which they purchase for hotel rooms. I don't care about that. Disney resorts. Thank you. Absolutely. Happy to help. Absolutely, she says. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you check your phone. Char? Let's see. Okay, are we this way? Okay, I think I got it. There we go, Keith. I'm right here. Yep. You need to keep it so, in, um, in landscape mode. There we go. Okay, yeah. so basically um, to get discounts, I mean, we went through, um, Sherry is who we went through, and um, she's the one that gave us the um, uh, discounts the whole package deal actually from disney world the uh, hotel stay um all of that is through and sharing the way, I, the way i understand it um uh we can purchase it under um my name um through like going through sherry um sherry awesome sunsets oh yeah sherry awesome sunsets that's the one to go through because she's the one who gave us the package deal through disney world and hotel yeah, stay yeah. That's a shout out to Sherry, amazing sunsets. She was great. So like, even though we were going to be late to our hotel because of the air flight, we couldn't get flights to Disney World right on time. We had to wait and get there later. She actually called our hotel to tell the hotel that we were going to be late. So she really was great at what she did for sure. Mm-hmm but yeah that's great so what i read today keith is about the new ride um the new ride is called um is it tiana it's like taking over splash mountain did you hear about right. that yeah can it's you, still a long a, a long flume can you please uh, tell us a little bit that, about that ride well um it's supposed to be uh, about um about Tiana um, in in Louisiana, um, but all I can tell is it's based on Tiana um, of the Princess and the Frog. Yes, Princess and the Frog. So, so is it still going to be like Splash Mountain original? Just that it's just that Tiana is going to be singing in there. Is that correct? Um, they they did away with um, with. Um, Song of the South, that's what the original um, Splash Mountain, what Splash Mountain was, is Song of the South characters. They were all re, uh, redone to um, the Princess and the Frog. Um. So why, why did they get rid of the Song of the South? Um, I kind of heard yeah. that it had to do with racism. No way. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I guess so. That's kind of what they. That's why they went on to. So Tiana must be singing some different songs then, I guess, from the from the movie. Um, Put that up on your banana. I'm trying. Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to get it like uh, up here. It's just having well, a little bit well, more. Well, we'll know when we get down there to um to try Magic Kingdom again. Right. Is there anything else new in Disney World that you can think of that's going on? Um, not that I know of. What do you think about that? About changing a whole uh, to get the way of race. What do you think about that? What? What do you think about them changing a whole ride because of race? And Racism? you can't just keep something as it should be or as it was and continuing 
to change, consistently changing every ride to deal with racism. What do you think about that? It's just it's just the way it's going. Yeah. It's just like they removed, like states removed um, statues of Confederate um, officers to, because um, uh, it had to do with um, that the Confederates wanted um, slavery and the Union didn't. Yeah, and then and, and consistently uh, negating all of our history. Yeah, I, I want to change the subject from that okay. because that's getting into politics, and we yeah. and we have a policy to avoid politics, uh, money, and religion. Okay, all right, love, I love you. Okay. So, um, so any other uh, rides that are going to be new in 2024 for Disney World? Well, not that I know of, but they have plans to. Um, we're um, behind. Um, politics. Disney just changed all the rides because of politics. Hey. How are you not talking about politics when Disney just changes all their rides because of politics? Well, um, it mainly have to do with the African American people. Um, it's kind of uh, oppressive to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, and what I, about I everybody feel, else? I don't feel comfortable with this type of. Okay. No more. Sir. Okay. All right, that's fine. Why? Why do you not feel comfortable with this? Well, um, my, I have friends that's African American, and I don't want to offend them. I'm not offending anyone, honey. I'm just asking, why does everything have to change? That I don't know. Okay. So now, uh, now, back, I'm now, back, now back to Magic Kingdom. There's an area. Mm -hmm. uh, North of the um, um, <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain, that that oh, yeah. uh, that that they have planned to expand for um, um, the villains area to where you can meet oh. the villains. Oh, you get to meet the villains. Like who? Who are all the villains? Like um, like Captain Hook. Um, oh. Cruella de Vil. Ooh, nice. So instead of like a princess area, they got a villain area now. Right. Oh, okay. That's, that's 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 what they have. That's what the talks was about. Um, expanding in uh, Magic Kingdom. Is there a new show at Epcot Center? So are all the people white in the new uh, Captain uh, America thing? Um, they're, they're, they're making an equal opportunity for a uh, race, different races, um, in the characters. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, Captain America uh, was originally a man and now they have a woman Captain America. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the only thing I've heard new is just that Tiana ride on Splash Mountain. That's the only one I really heard about new. Yeah, and I, that think they were good. I think that's practically all that's new right now. And Tron. Tron got done. So then Tron yeah, ride Tron. with the motorcycles. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't ready when we were down there. Right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's all I kind of know about it. I know that my uh, boss, I went there. People can ride that ride a couple of weeks ago or not about a couple of months ago and he said that the tron ride was a lot of fun that the motorcycle went like zero to like maybe 60 miles an hour really quick so it was a lot of fun one one ride i want to try at um at epcot is um test track you go in um you um design your car you put your magic band or magic band plus up to the up uh, thing and then you go in um, and then you get to your car and then um, and then you go about 68 miles per hour. Wow, that sounds like fun. 
It's kind awesome. of like a 68 miles per hour convertible. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> you get the breeze in your face. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, awesome. That's great. And how white people ride? So, anyway, so like with um, what else is going on new? Oh, um, well, Selena Gomez and David Henry is uh, rebooting um, Wizards of Waverly Place on Disney Channel. And oh, wow. If I understand it correctly, uh, um, appear the next day on um, Disney Plus. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't hear that. Is there any other movies that are on Disney Plus right now that you recommend? Um, there's, a, there's a lot. I can't mm -hmm. name them all. Wow. What are your top two favorites? Um, it's kind of hard. Yeah. We like Only Murders in the Building. Yeah. It's got, it's got the foul language in it. Yeah, a little bit of foul language. But Steve Martin and Martin Short are an awesome team together. <gasps> They're so funny. And it's like a night and Selena Gomez is in there. And now Meryl Streep is in there. She helps balance them out. She helps balance them out. She does. And Meryl Streep is one of my favorite actresses ever. And she's in there too. And it's just really good. And it's funny and lighthearted. And Martin Short has a lot of jokes in it. So I really like that show. That's a good one. Well, the, the last um, episode of season three, um, mm -hmm. Steve Martin's character hit um, his um, stunt double ends up getting shot. No, oh, I know. Yeah, it's a it's it's got some crazy stories to it for sure. Jane Lynch plays his um, stunt double. Oh, Jane Lynch is really good too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. I think I think she dies in there. Yes. So they'll have to start investigating her murder. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's the whole series. Yeah. Yep. And. Yeah, I've been playing some games like um, Disney's Magic Kingdom and um, Air Airline Manager Four. Oh, how is that? Tell me about that game. Oh, let me see if I can bring it up. Let's see. Right up to your list of things now. It was just that's all I had was the the T was the Triana. The Tiana ride and Disney World and all the rides over. That's it. All I didn't have any other okay. What else do you have? Oh, I got a plane. I got a couple of planes that needs to take off. Let me go. Oh, get, okay. Well, three of them. <laughs> So tell me about this coming. Oh, there's a train coming. Yeah, tell me about this game that you're playing. Tell us about the game. Uh, it's airline manager four, and um, and you try to grow an airline. Um, let's see, um, let me bring up under company. Mm -hmm. And there's these achievements. I've got five achievements out of eighty-seven so far. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, I had to do stopping up. Um, I got the stopping up um, at the same time as across the states by having a, pl a plane going from um, JFK um, stopping over at Dem at Denver and then going to LA. Oh wow! So he's playing this new game called Airline, and he plays all Airline these different Manager four. Nice. Is that what you're sharing right now? Or are you sharing that with everyone right now? Yeah. He's sharing the game that he's playing, Airline 4. What are you doing? Train's coming. Trains? He only does. Yeah. He only what, does do you, what do you do with trains coming? These are planes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm asking you, there's a train coming. What do you do? I do nothing um, because um, I don't, don't have trains. Yeah, it's just about planes. It's <laughs> just planes. <laughs> yeah, well, when you get on land, there's trains. So there's a train coming. What do you do? Yeah, get off the track. <laughs> get off the track. There you go. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> no. Get off that track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Hi, Pumpkin. Well, who, who, who is part of Disney Plus now? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I wonder all you have to do is to open Disney Plus, and then, and then all the way over to your right is the um, at the top. You click on it to um, to open Hulu. Oh, okay. Hulu. So they like and join they, together, like sister companies or something? Yeah. And, oh wow! Um, okay. Disney's buying out Comcast's half of um, Hulu. Oh, okay. So it's going to be all Disney's. Oh, mm, interesting. And then um, Peacock will probably be um, taking it. Will be um, in charge of um, of a partnership with um, Paramount Plus. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So nice. Okay, so tell us a little bit about um let's see. Tell us a little bit about what happened with the Chiefs. Well, the Chiefs won um 25 and to 22 go um, in overtime. I know. Go Chiefs, go Chiefs. It was an exciting game at the end, wasn't it? Right. And then mm -hmm. the following Wednesday there was a shooting um at the um, Chiefs um, victory rally. Yeah, that um, was awful. A 43-year-old um, mother of two, and a who was also a grandmother, and she was a um, Kansas City um, radio station DJ. And that is really mm -hmm. sad. That is not something that should have happened at all. I mean, yeah. it just... Butker, uh, Butker, the kicker, donated... Uh -huh. Donated a jersey for her to be buried in. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. It's not from the Super Bowl because those those are worth over hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. Especially oh, the, yeah. the, the, oh, winner, the winning team. It's just a sad scenario anyways. You want to go to this place to like support your team and have fun and have a parade and be safe. And for something like that to happen is just really sad. I, Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift donated a hundred thousand dollars to that family that lost their loved one. Um, which is nothing. Yeah. Which of course, uh, it it had to go into. She went through go, the GoFundMe. She had mm -hmm. to break it up into two fifty thousand dollar donations. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that was nice. And then two little girls that. that were that were shot in the leg, um, that were in the hospital. They got a visit from Patrick Mahomes and his wife. Mm. Well, that was nice of them to do that. I know it had nothing to do with them, but it just it's just a sad scenario of why somebody would even do that at that location. And just because uh, there was what caused that? Do you know what caused that problem or why it happened? Uh, two guys got into an argument and there and then there was um, a couple of teenagers involved. Oh. So it was a dispute just between two people. Right. Okay. Let him tell you. I want to hear the story. That's all you know, Keith, about that, or do you yeah, know any that's more? All I know. That's all you know. Okay. Was that two teenagers got on a fight, and that was it? So two teenagers, two ne two teenagers just got a fight, and that was all it was about. There was two adult guys involved too. Oh, weird. So so what else do you know? That was is that all you know? That's all I know. Oh, okay. Who who pulled the first gun? Yeah, I, I don't know. Do you know who well, like pulled, pulled 
pulled the first gunshot or on it uh, between they, them? They didn't say. They didn't say. Um, they didn't say. The, okay. The guns were um, were semi automatic rapid fire guns. Mm. Did they say what started it? Um, it was just an argument between two guys, two grown men. That's it. And then it just escalated. Yeah. Wow. The guns, the guns were um, were assault rifles, military mm -hmm. style. Dang. So there was just two guys that got in an argument during the parade. It was um, at the rally. Right. When they were right. At, and when the chiefs was at the um, train station. And then what happened? There. That's all I know. Okay. Well, you seem to, you know more than I do. Yeah, I didn't read a whole lot about it. All I know is about the one that got that one that got killed, and then the other ones that got injured. So, and that Taylor Swift and all them kind of donated money, but definitely a scary event i had family that was there my dad was going to be there and he yes. keep and your family your uncle is going to be there and and he decided not to go because he couldn't find parking so he went home and then um our cousin was there and she got in a car right right she got inside the car when she heard the shooting and went home so i mean i'm glad that, that everybody's okay yeah yeah it was kind of a crazy situation for sure yeah yeah. What else you got? Well, um, I like those trackless rides, don't you? And those are my favorite. What? Yeah. It's trackless rides. Um, trackless Rise, of the my favorite because Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway. Yes. Yes. Nothing that goes up and down, up and down for sure. Yeah, I want to try, try Ratatouille. That's another trackless ride. And that's, in, the, and that's at Epcot in the French Pavilion. So how does a Ratatouille ride go? What, how, what kind, tell me about that you ride. You get the view of a rat in the kitchen. Um, it's based on the movie Ratatouille. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's they're, cool. They're thrown down the sides to see from the view of a raft. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, that'd be fun. I like that. Viewers are commenting I think so, yeah. So do we have any viewers tonight out there? Have any questions? Do we um, have viewers? There's nobody watching right now, but oh it's just you and I? It's just yeah. you and I. Tonight. Okay, well that's okay. Yeah. No viewers tonight. Kind of a slow night tonight. Monday night. Everybody's kind of like just they're first probably, day of work. They're probably watching. Um, they're probably watching Pepper Tree Villa right now. What's that? That's a um, another um, Disney YouTube community um, channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's kind of a Monday night. Everybody's kind of getting back to work and getting things done. And today in Lincoln, Nebraska, it was 80 degrees. We saw flies today, saw squirrels munching on little berries. We had the sunshine. Everybody was in t-shirts and shorts, tank tops and shorts. We went on a walk today, 80 degrees in February. It was absolutely beautiful. It was great. Yeah, um, it got to 82 here in Topeka. Oh, really? Okay. Did you go outside? Yeah, I did some walking. That's good. So did we. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I was very happy about that weather situation. Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to be a cold um, Wednesday night into Thursday. Tomorrow, tomorrow night it's supposed to snow here. Oh, okay. I know. I'm not looking forward to that, but that's what the radar says. So I don't know. Somebody, somebody said that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't. I was gonna talk to my boss about some more information about Disney, but I don't really have any right now. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about tonight, Keith? Oh, um, 
I'm, I'm looking forward to Disney. You're looking forward to Disney? Like on our trip? Long, when? Um, let me see. That reminds me. Um, here's the countdown. Um, 1,058 days or sooner until uh, Walt Disney World trip. Wow, that sounds like a lot of days. 2,885 days or sooner until Universal Orlando trip. And wow. And four days until my 60 seconds. Okay. You got it tracked down, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. You hear the music? His birthday is in, yeah, I hear the music. His birthday is June 10th, right? Right. June 10th. Yeah, he'd be 62. And then you're moving into a new place when you're 62, aren't you? Yeah. I'll That's be exciting. Moving, I'll be moving over to where my mom lives. That's going to be great. You'll have a new place to live, new new area, new place to walk to, good area. That's closer good. to the pharmacy and the grocery store. That's good. His birthday is June 10th, 19. What year were you born? 1962. 62. 1962. I'll be 62 this year. 62. 62. Sydney says you're just a little bit older than her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We age, don't what? we? Yeah. 19, uh, June 10th. Cindy's putting it on the calendar for you. Oh, I love that t shirt. Did I get you that, Keith? Um, I bought it up there when Scott and I went to the um, uh, shopping mall. Oh, okay, nice. You got me that's... a Mickey Mouse set. That oh, that's right. Drawing. I remember that. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll have to look forward to that. Yeah. So, once I get once I get moved in over at the new, once I get moved in at the um, new place, hopefully down the line I'll um, get me um, some lightsabers. Yeah, that would be oh, love the lightsabers. lightsabers. Yes, we want some lightsabers too. Lightsabers, not Light light lifesavers. Well, but Keith, I need a lifesaver too. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just a lifesaver, saver, whatever, anything of those kinds. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, they're mm -hmm. like about two hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, dang, boy, that's too expensive. That's the front door. That's too expensive for a lifesaver. Yeah, but, a lifesaver. Um, there's a um. Let me let me bring up a um. Bring up a picture. Let's see, I'll bring up stuff. Let's see, you're not getting a two hundred fifty dollar lifesaver. Lifesaver is what it is. Okay, <laughs> but it's a hundred. It's two hundred fifty dollars. We love you. A two hundred fifty dollars to save my life. I'm okay. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah. Okay. Lifesaver, show us a picture. Well, I'm trying to get get something. Um. <laughs> okay, no, on screen. Thank you. <laughs> Lifesaver. Uh, what does Lifesavers do, Keith? Um. <laughs> Tell us what they do. It saved your life. Damn, I'm not ready to test up and test I know, I need you. I can't find it. That's okay, Keith. That's all right. Yeah. Find it! Mm hmm. See. You better find that lifesaver. A saber. <laughs> I smell that. Okay. I know, oh, oh here comes Magic Band oh, Readers. Oh, we got it. Yay. Magic Band Readers. Oh, okay. Uh, Show us that. Let me um, bring it up. Um, oh. Present. Mm. <laughs> 
Oh, bananas. Oh. <laughs> you see them? Hold on. I I lost you. Hold on. Uh, sir. Um, yeah, I see that. Yep. <laughs> you you put your magic band or magic band plus up to them and they're supposed to react. Oh. So did your magic band last for a long time? So if I got mine two years ago, can I still use it in 2027? Um, the, uh, it'll, it'll still get you in um, and your ticket, but um, the chances are the battery's dead for where you can't, where the, um, if you go on, it's a small world, it will not um, pick up your magic band. Will not your name are you still there i'm here what happened? sorry got a little bit lost okay so like you can use the magic band all the time but it needs to be charged is that correct well, the only magic band that needs to be charged up is the magic band plus. That's oh. but but the original magic band is not rechargeable. Oh, okay. Once the battery goes dead. Um, the uh, the archway just before the um, goodbye room cannot sense it. Okay. Okay. Are we up to one? No. Sorry. There's one that, that if you put your magic band up, if you have a picture like, see where this guy and this girl um, have their picture taken with Pluto. Uh huh. Fine. Yeah. You can have it. You can have that okay. set up um, like that. And then oh, there's okay. Adam Leota magic band reader. Oh, that's cool. You got different. There's different ones, and then there's a display stand to set the magic man reader on. Oh, that's cool. A whole bunch of different ones. Oh, that's awesome, Keith. And let me go to um, the wait signs. These are kind of neat. You hook them up to your uh, Wi-Fi. This one, all the, all the way to the left, will tell you what's what the wait time on each ride is in Magic Kingdom. Oh, that's really cool. And that's awesome. That, you, you can set up um, on your um, on an app to um, your countdown for your next trip. Oh, that's awesome, Keith. See, from left to right, there's Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. And down below it is Disneyland in California and and Cali Adventure. Okay. So when did you find this out? Um, from Resort TV One. <laughs> okay. Hi. So. Okay, I'm gonna do the stamp. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't think they're too bad of a price um, on what you. I think the wait time signs are like ninety nine dollars each. Oh, okay. So that tells you what the wait time is to get in line to ride a ride in Disney World. It, it tells you what the wait time is on each ride. Okay. On each ride, you just flip, you just touch a button to get to the next ride to see what the net, what the wait time is. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Keep all your kisses. <laughs> hey, tell us something else that's interesting that you learned this week. Anything? Uh, uh, how about word? How about worldly news? Anything? Um, that that brings something up. Um, let me try to. Okay. Okay, I've got some news from um, WDW News today. All right, what is that? 
Walt Disney Studios motion picture production, President Sean Bailey stepping down. Oh. Universal Orlando Resort files per permit for two new Halloween Horror Nights tents. Oh, okay. Nice. So fry robot named Horton preparing food at Universal Orlando Restaurant. Oh, oh. so those are all the Walt new Disney things. Disney World changes hotel cancellation policy for 2025. 2025 okay. Walt Disney World vacation packages going on sale this week. Uh, early entry and extended evening hours for Walt Disney World hotel guests continuing in 2025. So where do you get all this information from? WDWNT.com. Okay. So that's something that you follow and then they send you like uh, alerts and things like that and information. Yeah, you get put on the mailing list, email list. Okay, cool. And then breaking news, free water park tickets for Disney Resort hotel guests in 2025. How do you get those for free? Doctor dies from allergic reaction after Raglan Road meal at Disney Springs. No, oh, that's not good. <laughs> New group. Topiary plays Guardians of the Galaxy music at Epcot. Dang. The Mandalorian well, and Grogu awarded over $21 million tax credit for California filming. Oh, okay. Wow. Steel added on top of DVC Tower at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Disney says Central Florida Tourism Oversight District is plagued by chaos and upheavals and more. Sorry. Disney Ambassador Hotel launching new breakfast takeout menu. Man accused of sexual battery on child for 2001-2002 Walt Disney World incidents. Hmm. New by Coastal Adventure Soaring Pin arrives at Disneyland Resort. So where are you get? So this is all from your website. You're saying it's from um, wdwnt.com. Oh okay. Oh, okay. So lots of new information. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything new besides just that Tiana type of ride that took over Splash Mountain. That was from Princess from the Frog. That's the only thing that I know about of what's new out there besides Tron and that. So. Right. Mm hmm So. Anything else with information? I, I don't know. What do you think about the... I know you didn't want to bring up politics, but what do you think about DeSantis and Disney World? Anything new with that? Um, he's got he's got his ways on some things, like um, like um, the state of Florida to do um, inspection of of the monorail. Oh, since it's a transportation system. Right. Well, they probably should do that to make sure it's safe. Yeah. And a while back, um, they had to evacuate a, a monorail at, um, at Epcot uh, on the Epcot run um, due to, to a tire blowout. Right. They had a, I think they had a, I'm not for sure if they used a cherry picker or a, um, or um, an aerial truck of a fire department to get the people evacuated from the monorail. Oh, wow. I didn't hear about that. Dang. Hmm. Yeah, I don't got much else. Keith, anything, any other questions you have for me tonight? Are you, are you excited for um, the Walt Disney World trip again? Of course I am. Yes, I'm excited to see what's going to be new by the time we come out there. Do you think there'll be flying cars by the time we get out there? Probably not. Dang it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, though, huh? 
Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to expect by the time I get back out there, but you know, it'll be something new every time, I'm sure. Yeah, we need two days of Magic Kingdom, two days of um, Epcot, um, two days of Hollywood Studios, and one day of um, Animal Kingdom. Animal That's probably. Kingdom. Animal Kingdom has the least attractions. Yeah, but I really liked Animal Kingdom because I'm a big Avatar fan and I enjoyed like the atmosphere of that and I like to see all the different types of food that was out in Animal Kingdom and I think we missed a couple of shows that were out there so that's a place that I would like to go to again. So if we, sure. do, two, if we do two days of each, um, each park um, that would be eight days. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Two days. Two days of that would probably be pretty good. I mean, it seems like you need a lot, a lot of days to go out there to experience everything for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, because a few days was not enough. No, but we tried to fit a lot in in a short amount of time and. Sometimes it's hard to do when you really want to get a big experience, you know. So that's why it's good to go back and kind of reassess the tape, you know, everything and go one by one a little bit longer, maybe, per, per place. Mm hmm Well, we can go ahead and cut it short. Um, have, a, have a magical evening and a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sounds good. Bye, Keith. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good night.